Welcome to another episode of Gumtress Gizmos, where yes, it took me five hours to do my hair this morning and I am not ashamed of it. Anyway, today we're going to be exploring the fascinating realm of augmented reality. Now, if you don't know, augmented reality or mixed reality is essentially the real world with digitally created objects and images overlaid on top of it. For example, one of the most popular examples right now is Pokemon Go, which of course has that feature that you can see Pokemon in the real world around you. That would classify as augmented reality. But one of the most popular and forefronts of the industry right now is the HoloLens, which, similar to the Oculus Rift, is a headset you wear on your head, and you can see the world around you, but instead of virtual reality, which creates a digital environment that you can look around and interact with, this is the real world that you see with holograms or other images overlaid on top of it. And this can just revolutionize industry, gaming, building, just minecrafting, just look at it! Just look at it, it's so freaking awesome, there's so many cool things! I'm sorry, I'm getting too excited about this. Anyway, moving on. But wait! Before you break out your checkbooks and break your piggy banks, you should know that the only edition available right now, the developer edition of HoloLens, is $3,000 for one HoloLens. That is not available on a consumer level at any, any stretch of the imagination, unless you're super rich, in which case you, you can just stop watching the video now and go buy one, because because that is, option is a lot better than what I'm about to show you. Anyway, so it made me think, what if we could create a simple, a cheap way to have an immersive augmented reality experience in your own home with nothing but your phone and some cardboard? Now, you probably know what I'm talking about. I am referring to the Google Cardboard, which I have explored a lot on my channel. I have a whole playlist of me playing Google Cardboard games. And essentially what this is, it's a, a poor man's Oculus Rift that brings virtual reality, just from your phone and a piece of cardboard and a couple lenses, into this whole new light of life world. What did I just say? I don't even know. But I have adapted a Google Cardboard to make something a little closer to an augmented reality experience. Let's take a look at it. Introducing my new favorite Gumtra Schizmo, the Hollow Patch. I know that's a very dramatic name, Hollow Patch, but this is as cool as it sounds, guys. So, the Hollow Patch is essentially a uh, Google Cardboard cut in half, but it's actually more than that. So, to make it, it was uh, pretty simple. I just got a Google Cardboard off of Amazon for literally $5. You can get these VR headsets for so many different prices, so many different places, and mine was literally just five bucks I spent on this thing. It's very worth it and very cheap. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so after following the fairly simplistic instructions to build this thing, to make the hollow patch, I simply needed to snap my fingers. Nah, just kidding. It's, it's pretty simple. I literally just cut a Google Cardboard in half, and the remaining cardboard from the other side I used to make the little cardboard thing you see sticking out the other side. I built that there so half of your phone isn't just dangling out of the Google Cardboard. But you might be asking me, Grant, how does this thing work? To which I respond, I, I can't really hear you through the, the video, your screen. It's not how YouTube videos work. Anyway, so it's pretty simple. One eye sees the real world, one eye sees the virtual world. And both come together to create a homogeneous, awesome-ish thing. I can't really explain it, it's just better in video. You see, it looks really cool and it's actually pretty effective. Now, the reasoning behind this is when I was looking up DIY HoloLens or augmented reality like headsets, ones I found had an issue. Both of them had uh, the phone projecting on clear screens in front of the eyes that was supposed to have the hologram to show around. But the problem with that is your eye can't focus on two distances at once. Your eye can either focus on the thing right in front of your face or the thing far away. So I think this HoloLens is cheaper, easier, and also solves that problem. This eye can focus on the long distance in the area around me, while this eye just has to focus through the lens to the phone right in front of my face. And that's, that's it, actually, pretty much. Alright, well thank you for watching. Oh, no, I almost forgot. There's so many cool things you can do with this. Let's get right into it. So now that we have revolutionized the world of augmented reality, you're welcome, Earth. What can we do with this? Well, there are so many exciting opportunities, so many cool things we can do, but there aren't really many apps that can sync up with a holopatch, whereas 
Google Cardboard has many wonderful VR apps that you can use, but not many of them can work with our homemade HoloLens. For example, if you want a HoloLens-like augmented reality experience, it can't be like the VR apps you use for your Oculus Rift or for Google Cardboard. If you're viewing a VR app in the Hollow Patch, you would just see the virtual world overlaid over the real world and it would just be weird and give you a headache. So for an AR app or mixed reality app, it would have to be one object that is the focus or several small objects and the background black. Kind of like the example we saw a little bit ago, which was a feature on the official Google Cardboard app that had an option that you can view sort of artifacts in 360. But there are actually a few apps intended for Google Cardboard that can work with our Hollow Patch. For example, number one is YouTube. Now, you may already know this, but there are things called 360 degree videos on YouTube, which basically you can use your computer and the arrow keys to look around, or your phone to literally just look around as if we're window into this whole new world. A whole new world. I'm sorry. I just, I just had to sing that. Where was I? Oh, yeah. But also, in a recent update for the YouTube app, you can watch any YouTube video with your Google Cardboard. And not just 360 degree video, any YouTube video, any 2D video you watch, will be displayed as if it was on a giant theater screen. Now, take a look at this. Do you see? It, it follows our certain set of criteria. It's one object, or in this case a screen, and followed just by a black background. Not a whole environment, just one object. So with this, it'll create the optical illusion of a holographic screen of any YouTube video you want on the Hollow Patch. Now, that is cool, but how, what, what can we do with this? Well, I'm glad you asked me, because being able to see any video you want as a hologram right in front of you opens you up to a whole new world of opportunities. Your hands are free to do much more productive things, like be on your phone, be on the computer, or America's greatest pastime, watch TV. So much content! But what about gaming, I don't hear you say? I mean, after all, one of the most hyped features of the HoloLens was their integration of Minecraft. I mean, it looks so amazing. After all, Microsoft, the owner of the HoloLens, bought out Minecraft for two and a half billion dollars just to have the rights to use the game. But are there any apps that can work with our Hollow Patch? Well, I did find one, and it's really cool. It's called Planet Defense VR, and the premise is simple. You have a planet, and you defend it. But you can see it also follows the criteria that we established before. The background is completely black, which in the game is supposed to be space, but to us, in our case, can be whatever environment is around you, whether it's your bedroom, whether it's uh, outdoors, or if you're in space. That could, that could also work. There's an astronaut, you know, just doing what he do in space. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, an augmented reality experience such as the HoloLens isn't something just for the super rich. It can be for anyone as long as you have some cardboard and a phone, which can actually be kind of expensive. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Click right here to see our last Gumtus Gizmo, which is about Pokemon Go and a Pokedex phone case, and click on my elbow to subscribe to be notified about more videos coming in the future. And I will see you all on the flip side. <laughs>